air coolers often get a bad rap but it is mostly because people try to use them where they are not meant to be used personal air coolers are useful only if one you're looking to cool a small room like a bedroom a study room a home office up to 200 square feet only with a maximum of 2 to 3 people in the room two if you live in an area where the maximum temperature is 40 degree celsius it doesn't cool beyond that three you would like to move the cooler around easily across rooms Remember personal air coolers generally work better in hot and dry areas and not in areas with very high humidity. It will increase the humidity of the room if the room is not well ventilated. For larger rooms, higher temperatures and for outdoor use, it is better to get a desert air cooler instead which I've linked to in the description. If you live in an area with high humidity, then get an AC instead. Now let's look at the five main things to consider when buying a personal air cooler. The first is the form factor. It helps to determine how intrusive the air cooler is in your room and how portable the air cooler is. Desert air coolers are much larger in size and hence not included in this comparison. Both personal and tower air coolers are very portable and can be moved around as they have caster wheels at the bottom. Window air coolers are not portable. Both are useful for cooling small rooms up to 200 square feet with a maximum of 2 to 3 people in the room. If you're looking for a sleeker option or you're constrained on space, go for a tower air cooler instead. As you can see on the screen, there are many options available for both personal and tower air coolers. The next key aspect to consider is the capacity, which helps to determine how long the air cooler can run before it needs a refill. Personal air coolers range between 7 to 10 liters, which can be used in a small space like study or office tables for a short duration of time. all the way beyond 55 liters which can be used for a full night a minimum of 20 liters is required for a full night without re refill higher size is ideal almost all air coolers compared are upwards of 20 liter capacity some people find refilling the air cooler very difficult when you need to do it manually some air coolers support auto refilling the air cooler if the water supply can be provided on a continuous basis Amongst the models compared, Crompton Optimus Neo and Orient Ultimo support auto refill. Use of ice tubes within the air cooler is also common to ensure faster cooling. Many air coolers these days have a separate ice chamber where you can add ice cubes. Symphony air coolers don't have a separate ice chamber, but the water inlet is claimed to be large enough to add ice cubes into the water chamber. The next key aspect to consider is the cooling efficiency, and there are two main things that determine this. One is the clean air delivery rate and second whether a fan or a blower is used. The clean air delivery rate helps to determine how fast cool air is circulated across the room. Higher the clean air delivery rate or CADR, the better. Symphony air coolers don't explicitly publish this number but are expected to be one of the best. Amongst the air coolers compared, Hindwear Cruzo, Bajaj Air Coolers and Orient Electric Ultimo have the best clean air delivery rates. For a 150 square feet room, consider a CADR of at least 1,250 square feet. The second key aspect is whether a blower or a fan is used in the air cooler. There is no right or wrong option here. If you want a more distributed distribution of cool air, go for a fan. If you want cool air to be directed in a particular direction or a spot, go for a blower. Remember, blower-based air coolers are a bit more noisier than fan-based air coolers. Hindwear and Bajaj have at least one model with a fan-based air cooling system. And the third thing is the vanes in some air coolers can move in four directions, both vertically and horizontally in some cases. Having a four-way swing helps with faster and better cooling as it circulates air in all directions quickly. The next key aspect to consider is maintenance and ease of operation. Air coolers have cooling pads which are used to hold water, which is used to cool the air. Previously many air coolers used to make use of wood wool for cooling pads which are cheaper but are also more difficult to maintain and prone to mold and bacteria hence most air coolers are now moving to honeycomb based air cooling pads which are made of cellulose these are also more durable but also more expensive compared to wood wool or aspen cooling pads all models except one which is the symphony touch model uses a honeycomb cooling pad The power consumed by air coolers is almost equivalent to that of a fan. Of course, not equivalent to BLDC ones which consume less power. Most personal air coolers use less than 20 watts with Symphony Ice Cube, Hindwear Cruzo and Bajaj consuming least power. 
from an ease of operations point of view, only Havel Zuri, Symphony Diet, Symphony Diet 3D and the Orient Electric Ultimo come with a remote to operate the air cooler amongst the ones compared. Symphony Diet 3D also has a digital display on the device. There are some capabilities that are standard in all personal air coolers. A water level indicator, support for inverters as they use low wattage, a thermal overload protection implying the air cooler is protected from power fluctuations. But if you have frequent fluctuations, do consider a stabilizer and they all have at least three fan speeds. The last key aspect to consider is the warranty and pricing. Warranty in general is one year with WeGuard giving two years on the motor while Bajaj gives two years warranty with one year only on the puck. Pricing varies between 4,000 to 12,000, mostly based on the capacity and air delivery rate of the air cooler. So here are my recommendations for the best air coolers in 2024, now that we understand how to select the best air cooler that meets your needs. If you're looking for a sleek air cooler, then I have three recommendations of the tower air coolers for you. My first recommendation is the Symphony Diet 3D available in sizes between 20 litres and 145 litres. This air cooler can support relatively large room sizes up to 200 square feet. However, remember Symphony air coolers only have a two-way swing compared to four-way swing of most other air coolers. It has a digital display and a remote, which does make, it, make operations a tad easier. The biggest complaint many people have about this air cooler is that it is fairly loud again which can be expected or should be expected from air coolers. My second recommendation is the Crompton Optimus Neo. It is available in a wide range of sizes, again from 20 litres to 145 litres, to suit different budgets and room sizes. The biggest plus of this is the autofill ability, so useful if you have a water inlet nearby. It also has a separate ice chamber to support cooling more efficiently. My third recommendation in the tower air cooler category is the Orient Electric Ultimo. This air cooler has one of the best clean air delivery rates amongst the tower air coolers. It does come with a remote and has autofill capabilities as well, making the operations easier. Now coming to the personal air cooler variants, I again have three recommendations for you. My first recommendation is the Hinduair Cruzo model that you see on the screen. It is available in three size variants, 17 litres, 25 litres and 46 litres. My recommendation is to at least pick the 25 litre one if you want to run it a full night without refill. It only consumes 100 watt in power, gives distributed cooling with a fan, has a good air delivery rate of 2000 cubic metre per hour. The biggest problem called out by users of this air cooler is that it is noisy. But that's the situation in general for all air coolers. My second recommendation is the Symphony Ice Cube 27. This cooler is ideal only for a small room or for directed cooling of one to two people. It uses a blower and it has three side honeycomb pads to cool the room relatively fast. The biggest problem called out by users of this product is that it is only useful for small rooms and where temperatures don't go beyond 40 which is the max temperature anyway supported by personal air coolers. While it does not have a separate ice chamber, it does allow for ice to be added into the water chamber itself. My third recommendation is the Bajaj PX97. Bajaj air coolers in general offer the best air throws and consume the least amount of electricity. This model uses a fan to distribute the air, uses honeycomb cooling pads, and a four-way swing to ensure even distribution of cool air across the room. The biggest challenge called out by users is that the water inlet is too small, making it difficult to refill water. If you're looking for cooling solutions for larger spaces or for areas with higher humidity, check the links in the description. Consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It's free for you but immensely beneficial for the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.